Hey guys, so I just want to make a very very quick video here. I just want to go ahead and cover uh, the new Apple MacBook Pros for 2012 because it's official right now uh, since like yesterday uh, what they are having and all those good things. So these new MacBook Pros uh, is uh, first of all say I'm rocking on a MacBook Pro right now for like three thousand five hundred dollars, uh, like one of the most high end MacBook Pros from last year. Uh, I bought it you like a month ago, just mostly for video editing, and I knew that we were getting these new MacBook Pros up and that it would have a little better specs and stuff like that. But overall, the CPU probably wouldn't uh, make that a big difference. But um, uh, yeah, I think that they're running on this new Ivy Bridge uh, processor right now. Uh, but first of all, it's uh, many new ports and it's like 25% thinner, so that's kind of nice. They though they did kill off the 17-inch MacBook. Pro, something I really don't like, even though uh, I'm not using the 17 inch Macro Pro at the moment, I'm only using the 15 inch one. But I mean, like, if you really want it big, why, why, why kill off the 17 inch Macro Pro uh, just so you're gonna buy a, a more expensive cinema display, probably? Uh, but if you look at the go, go ahead and look at the ports here. Um, uh, let's go ahead and look at the ports here. Uh, so first off, on the right side right now on my MacBook Pro, um, I have my optical CD, you know, my optical disc that I could put in. Uh, this is something that they also removed on the new MacBook Pro. Uh, then also, I don't have anything like more on, on the right side of my MacBook Pro, but on this new MacBook Pro, they're gonna have the SD card reader move it on the, to the right side. Also, finally, full size. Uh, HDMI port so you can go ahead and access that also they have two USB 3.0 connectors so that's kind of nice that they have uh, added that if, if you uh, enjoy that I have USB 3.0 ports on my main machine out my PC since last year and uh, as the difference between USB 2.0 port and USB 3.0 is like this could be like 10 times faster when you move files and things like that and uh, on my main PC output that's running Windows 7, it, it's like uh, you can see a difference between the USB 2.0 ports and the USB 3.0 ports. The USB 3.0 port is a little blue. Uh, on this Mac Pro, it's going to be all white, so it's going to match the design of the, 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 the device, basically. Uh, you're going to get two uh, Thunderbolt ports in this new Mac Pro. I only have one, and then I have some other weird kind of connector that uh, could be firewire or something I'm pretty sure I also think that they have removed the, the Ethernet uh, port and they also have some new power adapters uh, they have a, a new like connector that they are calling like the MagSafe 2 connector um, let's see and also you know you can't use your old power adapter to this new MacBook Pro but you can get like an adapter for 10 bucks uh, but yeah, there's some, you know, two USB 3.0 ports, I don't have anything on this one, so they've changed a lot of things with uh, the ports and stuff like that, and that they can make it thinner, make like a bigger battery, used because um, yeah, they removed the optical disc, so they have like also like a bigger battery, and also, of course, one big thing is the retina display, I don't have a retina display on my, on my MacBook Pro right now, but I still, I'm not really sure if you would need that, because I mean, like, when I'm on my machine, at the moment, uh, like when I'm on forums and stuff like that on my MacBook Pro, usually I have to like zoom in because you see so, uh, so much text and stuff like that. So currently I'm zoomed in as you can see over here because uh, you know the screen is is already such a good resolution. Uh, one thing though that could be good is that uh, the contrast and things like that on the new display. Uh, on the new Retina display is going to be like better, so at least that's kind of nice. Uh, if you talk about the specs here, hardcore specs, uh, they probably updated the CPU and things like that a little bit, maybe 20 to 25 percent faster or something like that. I'm not going to buy the new Micro Pros because I mean, like, my computer was very, very expensive, but uh, I think this is kind of like a nice update for those people that's buying a new MacBook Pro for this year. So what do you think about the new MacBook Pros? Are you going to pick one up? Um, I'm not going to, as I said over there, but uh, yeah, this is the new computer from the Apple. Yeah, bye-bye.